Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of October 14th through the 20th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Empress, which is that divine feminine maternal Venus energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. I kind of feel like this week you have to make a decision about what's best for you. And maybe this is conflicting with somebody else's opinion because maybe they have a different idea of what you should do or an expectation. But I kind of feel like you've been going through it in this situation for a while and it feels like what you really want and what you really deserve is the choice to go in a different path or do something that you really enjoy or just to feel better. I feel like you just want to feel better and you should. You have every right to feel that way. It just kind of feels like there's something about your situation right now where it's almost like you could be thinking, why is it so hard, right? Why is it so difficult for me to feel better or why is it... You know, why are, the, why are there these blocks in the way? And maybe it's related to uh, a person. Maybe it's just the circumstances. Maybe it's related to finances or just other things that are stressing you out. But I definitely just feel kind of like this yearning for a, a relief. Um, we have the sun at the bottom of the deck behind the empress, which is Leo. Then the three of pentacles. And then the eight of swords. So it's like there's this feeling of being restricted feeling limited, feeling like, how am I going to get out of this? And then somewhere in between, there could be a situation with work and that it could be affecting your happiness, but also inspiring you to change your path or do something for you instead of always, you know, maybe putting your needs to the side. I just feel like this week is going to be all about you. It's like, you need to do this for yourself or else, right? It's like, you can already feel the tension or the stress building up. And I kind of get the sense that maybe for some of you, this is it's about time, right? Maybe this has been going on for long enough and you're finally giving yourself permission to say, you know what, it's about time that I really paid attention to that feeling and did something about it. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I kind of feel like that Two of Swords is you no longer letting something be in the way, kind of like removing this block effective immediately. And with that Five of Swords, you're challenging anybody or anything else that is going to go against this decision. Because I kind of feel like, again, there could be somebody in your corner right now who has a different opinion. Maybe it's re reflecting this Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it's an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that you you know means well but they just may have a different perspective and maybe with that wheel of fortune this is just simply confirmation that you choosing to go in this direction or you choosing to put yourself first is only going to improve your situation in a major way so let's go ahead and clarify the two of swords And we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So here it is. Here's that decision that you have to make for yourself, Cancer. I feel like this is just confirmation that you're on the right track. If that's something that you've been thinking about, or maybe this, this is just truly a reflection of your inner self, your and your higher self, right? Your intuition. We have the queen of cups, the eight of wands, and the four of wands. And I feel like this is your energy just right all over it. And I love that because to me, that queen of cups is that water energy, but it is also this sort of inner knowing that when we feel a certain way, we have to acknowledge that we have to lean into our emotions sometimes because it says a lot, right? And behind the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck is the four of cups, which is that overthinking, really sort of introspective energy but i love that this four of cups is coming through behind the two of pentacles because it just confirms you've been thinking about this for a while right you want to make this decision and now you're finally going in that direction also on her sweater here it says over it so i feel like this is also confirming in a very literal sense right from the universe you're over it cancer and that's okay because it's some it's been some time and I feel like with that Eight of Wands, what you're receiving is not only divine confirmation from the universe this week, but it almost feels like there's a really specific interaction or conversation or message that almost sets you free. It's kind of like this is the one thing you needed to hear 
before doing this or going this direction or making this choice. It's, it's like this is just this one thing and now all of a sudden you feel so much more ready and comfortable and liberated to go in this direction. So, wow. Really love this for you so far. Let's see what we get for the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I kind of feel like with the Seven of Cups, this is about you really looking at your options and not just, you know, settling for the one, right? The one option that somebody made seem was the only way it's kind of like you're looking at every single thing every alternative every solution and you're giving them all equal thought we have justice which is libra the six of cups and the strength which is leo and i love this too because this is you being brave enough to say you know what i rather look at my options than just settle for less right i rather look at what i can do than just accept what somebody says i can do right this is you really taking this sort of stand and I love the justice as well, because to me, this is karmic justice. It's you allowing yourself to kind of accept that some things aren't going to change, but doing what's necessary for yourself to invoke that change for yourself. Kind of like you are the judge of your own life in a sense, right? Like you can only judge yourself if you really think about it. So I feel like that's you kind of being fair to yourself as well and i feel like with the six of cups it's like this could be the energy of your inner child this could be the energy of the past no longer being what judges your future right this could be about you acknowledging that yes you can have a commitment to your to your family to your friends to your person and you can acknowledge and validate their opinions but you don't have to take that as your own all the time right there's a difference between loving someone and letting them control you or letting them affect you in such a way where you can't ever make a decision for yourself. So I kind of feel like the Six of Cups is more speaking to the boundaries that maybe you're putting in place as a way to keep justice and keep the, you know, the stability in your life so that things are balanced, basically. It's like this is all about balance. All right, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. page of wands i feel like you're about to discover a whole new world for yourself here cancer we have the four of cups again the temperance which is sagittarius and the high priestess which is pisces so i kind of feel like this is you really leaning into this energy this week of just going all into your intuition and what your higher self is telling you i feel like the temperance confirms it's a it's about time right that we do this it's like we can't wait any longer, right? We have to make this decision or else. I kind of feel like the Four of Cups just confirms you've given it so much thought, right? How much longer are we going to think about it? It's, it's just like this repeated theme of just go for it, Cancer. Just go for it. Just trust your intuition. Not just listen to it, but really, really trust that what your inner self is saying matters. So, Really, really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.